Dave knows how. Welcome back to the channel. In my last video, I talked a little bit about adapting my finish mower over to be more easily quick hitch friendly, I guess you'd say. And it was a huge success. I really, really am just ecstatic about the way that thing functions. It is out of this world. Today I want to talk about a couple of other implements that I have that are not quick hitch ready. And these are older implements um, that simply were not made quick hitch ready back when they were built. I have two implements here that are made by a company called Linebach Line. Now, if I understand correctly, Linebach was located down in North Carolina. They made American-made implement products for the tractor industry. There's a lot of American-made implement companies out here today. Do a Google search, you will find a lot of them. These particular implements are very well made, very heavy duty, and that's why I really like these implements. When I, when I was able to get a hold of these, I snatched them up. Even though they're not quick hitch ready, but in today's video, I'm going to show you how I hook these up to my quick hitch fairly easily. Now, if we look over here at the road blade, you'll see that it's got this bar in the middle that the quick hitch hook is going to run into. So it's not going to be able to come up through here and hook through there. In fact, I got a hook right here. And as you can see, it's going to hit right there. Just can't get it past there. Let's hop over here on the tractor and I will show you real quick how I hook up this Linebach York rake or landscape rake, whatever you want to call it, to the quick hitch. It's designed the same way it has that plate in there. Let's jump over here and check it out. Okay, so we're over here on the line box, York rake, landscape rake, whatever you want to call it. And I love this rake. This thing is heavy duty. It has never failed me and it has served me very well. It's not the prettiest thing to look at. It sets outside, it gets stained and whatnot, but you know what? I love this thing. And unless I could find one that was really super durable and able to replace this, I will keep this thing and will not replace it. It is just a wonderful piece of equipment. So we got the same situation here. We've got, you know, this piece of metal comes up here and it's blocking, so the hook can't come up through here. So what I've done is, I've shortened the top link back, and now we're going to raise the three-point. Let's crank the tractor up. So we raise the three-point up so that the lower lift pins seat into the quick hitch and we're going to go ahead and latch these closed and we're going to bump this three point up just enough to get this cinder block out if your implement has a stand at this point you would retract the stand up then we're going to remove this pin, and now we're just going to lower the three-point. Now, sometimes when you do this, depending on what kind of implement you have on it, you may need to lower the implement, the three-point down, and pull forward ever so slightly, just a little bit. With the rake on there, typically I don't have to do that because it will just go right on back. But watch what happens.
Now we can stick our pin in and we're good to go. This works out great. Now additionally, if you have a hydraulic top link, like what's installed on this tractor, or even a mechanical top link, you can also hook up onto the lower lift arms and uh, extend this top link out. Either unscrew it and make it longer, or in my case, I'll use the hydraulics and just run it on out and now I can stick the pin in there. Now not all quick hitches are made equally. I can tell you there are some discrepancies between where the lower lift pins hook up on the quick hitch as far as the width goes. I've seen some that were quarter inch different, half an inch different, and that doesn't sound like that much, but in some situations, it's the difference between the implement fitting or not fitting. On this implement right here, this rake, we're all the way out on the end of the pin right here. So really the pin almost could have been a little bit longer. Now we're not running the risk that this thing would come off. Even if I push it all the way over this side, it's, it's still not gonna come off. But once the hook is hooked up in here, it's pretty rigid. It's not gonna slide side to side. So we don't really have to worry about that. All of these hooks are not created equally either. And we're gonna go over that in a little bit more detail a little bit later. Let's back over here to the uh, road blade, the Leinbach road blade, and hook that up because it is a little bit different than this. I wanna show you a modification that I had to do in order to get this quick hitch to work with that implement. Let's move the tractor over there now. Okay, so we're over here at the Leinbach road blade and we've got the lower lift point, the pins in the quick hitch and they're already latched and if you notice how close this is, this was super close on here and it actually hit this piece right here so I had to take a grinder, an angle grinder, and just grind the side of this off ever so slightly to get it to fit. But it fits now, and that's perfect. Now if we move the pin and lower the three point to get this back in, or extend the top link and that's what we're going to do. You'll see that it won't fit. It won't go up in here. It hits. So we need to raise this up. So when we raise this thing up to the highest point, it still won't fit. So what I ended up having to do was I had to bore a new hole 
in this hook down here lower. So I raised this up so this top hole was above here and then I took a transfer punch and I skipped one hole and I took a hammer and I hit it and marked where I needed this additional hole drilled and just added a third hole and now it fits. So having that third hole option was huge. It made it so that this blade would actually fit on this quick hitch. Is it a little bit more trouble to put this blade on and to put the landscape rake on compared to something that is quick hitch ready from the factory like my box blade or my brush hog? Absolutely, it's a little bit more trouble. But I'd say it's probably worth it. Let's go ahead and shut the camera up over here on the bench and take a look at these hooks, how they come and the different variations of these hooks. I'm gonna move over here to the workbench. Okay, so let's take a look at these hooks. So I got three hooks out here. Now this hook is the original one that came with the Hallmaster, Harbor Freight, Agro Supply, Amazon, Chinese made, Quick Hitch. That's the hook that comes with it. This is an offset hook that you can pick up at uh, Agro Supply I can't remember what the price was, but basically it moves the hook out. Uh, if we line up these holes with these holes, you can kind of see that it moves the hook out. Let's move it around this side and see if it shows up even better. So you can kind of see that it moves the hook out this way. Okay, and sometimes you need that to get this part of it away from these bolt holes. So that may be an option, you know, if, you, if you're having a problem where your implement is coming up when it hooks into here, it hits the bolts, or it hits the pins, or it's just too close, or it won't go deep enough in there to get the pin in. This hook may remedy that problem for you. Now this third hook, this is actually the same hook as this. It's the standard hook that came on the Harbor Freight Quick Hitch, the one that I bought. And basically what I did, I machined a half an inch off of this side of the hook. So comparing it to this one, I, I went in here and you can see how thick this is. I machined a half an inch out of here on this side. And then I came in with a piece of half inch stock and just welded it on the back side. And so that brought me back to the same dimension in here. So the same inner dimension is the same as it was from the factory when they first made the hook. If you measure this and you measure this, it'll be the same. Now that made this part of the hook a little thinner, but so far it hasn't been a problem. Machining it over and moving it over like this gave me a little more reach on this hook so I can reach up in there and get the pin in where I need it. The other thing that I needed to do, like I showed you on that um, Linebach road blade, I needed an additional third hole. And this hook, the original one, left enough room to put an additional hole right here. 
I'm not true with this offset hook that you can pick up at Agri Supply. For some dumb reason, they cut this thing out right here, and so there's no room to put a third hole. And um, for that reason, I wasn't able to use this hook. Now, more likely, if it wasn't for that road blade and needing that third hole, um, I could probably get away with just using this hook right here. So this may be a good option for you unless you need an additional hole like I do. Anyhow, just some, you know, just some, a uh, little bit of going over the, the different hooks and what I've done to modify my hook to make it work. Um, with implements that are not quick hitch ready. And basically to, you know, just kind of put the idea out there that, you, you know, if you're like me, I, I mean, I, I was on a tight budget. I, I can't really, most of these implements I've had a long time anyway, but even back when I was working making money, I was on a tight budget. And I didn't have the money to go out and spend on a complete IMAX system or a uh, complete uh, land pride quick hitch system. Uh, I just couldn't afford to do that. So, you know, I had to buy the Harbor Freight one and, you know, all my implements are not made by the same company. They're not all quick hitch ready. Some of them are, some of them aren't. There are some just preferences from one to the other. So, you know, I have to adapt and make it work, you know, and I've had to do a lot of modifications to the quick hitch to make it work. But in the long run, those modifications are worth it because it just makes it that much easier. And especially the older I get, the older I get, the more I appreciate that quick hitch. Um, when quick hitches first came out, I was like, why do I need that? I don't need that. I know how to hook up a three-point, you know. I, I, what do I need that for? And, and I didn't. I was, you know, young and dumb and full of piss and vinegar, and I could just do anything. Nothing stood in my way. I could manhandle and hog that stuff around like it wasn't nothing. But the older I get, the more I appreciate that quick hitch. I probably should have got one sooner. My <laughs> might not be as wore out as what I am. Anyhow, I guess that's about it for this video. I just kind of wanted to go over that. I don't want you to necessarily discount buying a used implement that is not quick hitch ready. Take some measurements and see if you can adapt it over to work with your quick hitch. A lot of times you can pick these implements up really cheap and they're really nice implements. To buy a comparable implement like that, if I was to try to buy a, a road blade and a York rake compatible to the one over there made by Linebach, I would probably have to pay upwards of $1,000 to get one. Um, these new ones that you can pick up out here now for you know, five, $600, they just don't compare to these older ones and how they were made. So, um, and a lot of times you can find these older ones for 300 bucks, you know? You know, I myself, I wouldn't part with mine for $500 a piece. In fact, I just had somebody offer me $1,000 for the road blade and the rake together as a set, and I turned it down. Um, I just, the main thing was I don't think I could replace that rake uh, even if I spent the whole thousand dollars I don't think I could get a comparable rake. I could be wrong and I may I may look into it I don't know uh, I could be wrong it would be nice to have you know a nice shiny new rake that was heavy duty and built right that was quick hitch ready uh, that I didn't have to do any of this modifications to, but you know, I probably still would end up having to do some kind of modification because I've actually got a quick hitch ready um, 
implement over here that just came in. It's brand new, supposed to be quick edge ready, and guess what? It would not fit on the quick edge. That's coming in a video down the road. You'll get to see the modification that I had to do in order to get that implement to work with the Harbor Freight uh, Hallmaster brand quick hitch. That's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope we didn't ramble on too long for you guys. Hope you're having a wonderful week. Stay safe and be good to each other. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.